Hi everyone, this is Melissa Valentine from Cute Nail Art, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do these cool Ghostbuster nails. To get this look, you'll need polishes in black, white, light green, and red. Start off with a base coat to protect your natural nail from staining and damage from the polish, and to help your polish stick better. After it dries, paint all of your nails solid black. You might need two coats for opacity. Let this dry a few minutes, and then go in with a dotting tool and some white polish to start working on the ghost. Start with one small dot, then make a slightly bigger dot below that for the head, and then two bigger dots to help form his shoulders. Connect these two dots together. Now start sweeping downward and rounding out the bottom to form his body. Take a detailed brush with white paint and make a little trail coming off the tip of his head. Paint a little tail coming off the left side of him on the bottom and go to work on his arms. He holds his hands out straight to the sides so the arm should be pointing straight outward. And he only has four fingers so I'm going to paint four little digits coming off the edge. Now you take some red polish on a dotting tool and make little dots going around, but don't go over the ghost, just go you know, between his limbs. And this is gonna be the starting of the circle that goes around him. Then you're gonna make the slash going down the front of him. After that, you're just gonna play connect the dots with a detail brush and red paint. That way you've got a nice guide to go by. Looking back on it now, I probably would have done it different. I would have drawn the line in white first and then gone over it with red just to make the red show up and pop a lot better, which you can do. But it still looks good even with just red. Now you're gonna take a small dotting tool and create three little black dots for the mouth and the eyes. Later I did go over with an even tinier uh, tip of the toothpick and make little pupils in the eyes. You can do this or not, it's up to you. And you take the bright green polish and you create dots to start the slime drips. So we're going to have dripping slime coming down from all the other nails. You can do two or three dots per nail, but two is probably better. You should make them kind of random, some lower or higher than others. Now take a smaller dotting tool with the same color of polish and make little drip lines going up towards your nail. Kind of the same technique as the dripping blood tutorial. Now fill in the area at the top of your nail with the same green polish and sort of connect all the drip streaks together. Make the connection a little rounded out so it looks more like a drip than a line. And repeat this on all of your nails. Let this dry and then go over everything with a fast dry top coat. This will help level everything out and make it nice and shiny. And there you go, you're all done. Hope you enjoyed and have a great Halloween.